what is the essential point of all this? What is the point of art? And what is the point of view of a human being? The value lies in the fact that there's an individual perception of what life is. It doesn't have to all be heavy, it doesn't have to be all existential, but it's essential that creativity and expressiveness be done, okay? I don't want to give the impression that I'm walking around in some kind of dour fog, but I am troubled by the enormous situations that are going on in the world, and as an artist, I would be remiss if I didn't comment on them. When I was a child, I always drew. I don't remember a time where I didn't. I think I got it from my mom's side who did a little bit of painting and my dad said when he was a kid he drew. I just was a very quiet, introspective kind of person and I just found that paper and pencil were my main outlet. So if anything, I mean my parents must have provided the art materials for me, but after that I just took to it. I didn't have any formal drawing lessons, I just found that I could draw things and uh, that's really where it came from. I wish that there was some moment where it said, oh, you're going to be an artist, but as far as I know, this is just who I am. The artists that inspired me range from the classical artists to the more contemporary ones. Uh, off the top of my head, a big fan of Michelangelo and da Vinci. Uh, for the contemporary artists, I would have to cite uh, Chris Foss or Angus McGee, which absolutely influenced the way I, I drew and looked at art. Uh, there's a lot of other artists that I can't think of off the top of my head, but they're there. The influence is there. I, I definitely looked at a lot of different styles, but there's also a fear of, uh, of emulating them too closely. So I was also careful not to overstudy things because I didn't want, more, I didn't want my work to be uh, colored in that way. Look at this. This is exactly what kids will not do. They will collect things and they will throw things. And that seems to be the nature of humanity is to always go against the grain. But they are the future. And therefore we must deal with them. <laughs> you know, what's interesting is that art is a very important piece for kids too. It's a way for them to express themselves. And a lot of adults try to get back to that place that children start out at. And Look. I think all artists feel that way, the innocence of youth. There are plenty of rocks over here. Whoa, where are you finding the rocks? Why is art so important? Is a really an amazing question and not one that I feel qualified to answer in just a soundbite. I think the general thing is uh, it's an outlet for expression. Everyone has something to say and I think art is the perfect format to say it. It's like trying to define art it's as elusive as trying to define human nature but as long as we created something like it we have a forum to express our ideas. You know, one of the things that I want to make clear is that it's not about pretension. It's really about the expression of ideas that if I were to put into words why I love art, why I make films, why I paint, it's not for an extended agenda. It's because I really, really need to express myself. And I think everyone feels that. Even if people feel they're not artists, they don't paint or they don't draw, there's still the need to express themselves. And I think it comes down to if you have this outlet, that's what makes it important. So, I mean, I love life. I love thinking about things. And if the idea comes into my head, I need to express it. And I think that's where it comes from. A lot of art is criticized for being superficial nowadays, that artists don't have anything to say and that the educational levels have fallen to such an appalling rate that it shows in the work. I disagree to some point. I think, educated or not educated, a basic human being has very important things to say and can express them. For myself, it's not a point of elitism. It's a point of taking the knowledge that we have 
and applying it in some way. So I try to make intelligent, thoughtful work. But if someone looks at a piece of my art and says, oh, that's just fun or goofy, I'm totally satisfied with that as well. The stories in my films have changed considerably from when I first started, although you could reasonably argue that some of the subjects have stayed the same. Science fiction still is my main love, and I still do science fiction. I started out with the limitations of a Super 8 camera, no sound, and uh, the fact that I was 12, 13 years old, of course, had its own limitations. The stories, though, still involved uh, a hero and a villain, and that hasn't changed too much. Uh, it is the foundation upon which I build my ideas. So in the beginning I was doing a lot of straight science fiction, main villain, good guy type of stuff. And then later on as I got older I started getting into the angst of hanging on to your friends as life forces changes on you. And then eventually as I got older uh, and, the, and the pressures of adulthood kicked in, the movies took on a more sophistication uh, about what is the nature of our existence and what is good and evil. They're still villains, but they're multi-layered now. And now, lately, I've been really working in the uh, world of Star Trek, uh, doing a trilogy, and Star Trek lends itself very easily to a larger philosophy. It's the one type of science fiction that not only have I found a home, but it gives you an endless uh, uh, playground to explore these ideas. To me, it's all about identity. When I go to make a film, or when I write a story, or even when I draw a paint, it starts off with an idea, an idea that I don't even know where it comes from, but some part of me needs to express himself. And so, that's the beginning part of the process, the identity of the artist. The artist puts himself into the work, and whether it's a science fiction story or a documentary, something must be part of the artist, must be preserved, it must be essential that when someone watches the work, they recognize a piece of who the artist is and what he has to say. You know, sitting in the sunshine, sitting among such a beautiful setting, it's got me thinking about what we've been talking about. And for me, it's all about enjoying the moment. I really do believe that this life is all we have. And I think my work reflects that. The temporariness of our life, the brief moment we exist, is our only opportunity to do something. And you could do something by just enjoying your life. You don't have to be necessarily an artist or a painter. If you live your life well and enjoy it, then you've done your mission. For me as an artist, I feel compelled to describe, draw, express, write. That's just who I am. Now that I have a, a baby who's going to grow up to be hopefully a very interesting personality, uh, I can see my art incorporating that, you know, taking my family and merging the two worlds together. As for the future, I can't see any other way of living other than to be creative. I would urge everyone to explore the creative side. I think art is a fundamental way of being. For those that don't want to draw or paint, I can totally understand. But for me, it's the only way of life I know, and it's the only way I want to live my life. Mm -hmm.